Hey guys, it's the 6th of April 2016 and I'm just going to crack a beer because I can't believe what I've just seen in our English papers. One minute guys. <coughs> ah, a nice cold can. I need one man. Bye gum. Well, mysterious planet wiped out life on Earth once and could do it again this month. <laughs> no way. I can't believe it man. Right, so they're on about the ninth planet initially here. Um, yeah, just let me scroll down. Wow, guys, a mysterious planet that wiped out life on Earth millions of years ago could do it again, according to a top space scientist. At least they didn't say NASA, so it's got a bit of credibility. And some believe the apocalyptic event could happen as early as this month. Planet 9, a new planet discovered at the edge of the sol solar system in January, has tri triggered comet showers that bomb the Earth's surface, killing all life says Daniel Whitmire of the University of Louisiana. So, guys in the USA, will you just check out your newspapers and have a look for us, peeps, please? Thank you. Uh, there's a video here of the ninth planet, one to ten times the mass of Earth. But this is the Sun newspaper, guys. This is one of our daily papers, one of our biggest in England. The astrophysicist says the planet has a 20,000-year orbit around the Sun, and at its closest to us, knocks asteroids and comets towards Earth, which we've been seeing more and more and more of. Fossil evidence has suggested most of life on Earth is mysteriously wiped out every 26 to 27 million years. Professor Whitmire claims Planet Nine's passage through a rock-laden area called the Kuiper Belt is responsible for these extinction events. Right, one second. And this is where it gets to our bit, guys. We are making a difference, man. This is because of us people. I'm telling you, well done to all of you. You should all, take, you should all grab a beer. I'm telling you, well done. Right, anyway, conspiracy theorists in the 80s and 90s previously claimed the red dwarf planet called Nibiru or Nemesis, which orbits too close to Earth every 36,000 years they've got here, was behind these events. Now some are convinced there will be a collision or a near miss before the end of April. Nemesis or Nibiru were widely dismissed as a crackpot pseudoscience until Planet Nine was identified in January by California Institute of Technology in the US. Right guys, there's some links here from Caltech. Oh well, listen guys, for this to be put in the Sun newspaper over here, I mean I know it's government owned and all that and but for them to put this in the paper, I mean, yeah, Planet Nine, fair enough. But they've even talked about Nibiru and the passage before. Ah, oh, dear me. Well, guys, eyes to the skies. God bless. Please just do a little uh, homework for me, my American friends, and just see if you can find out from this U University of Louisiana and Daniel Whitmire. But this explains the meteor showers, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, every bloody thing. For any newbies, there you go. This is England's tabloids giving it rock all. I've never seen them do out like that. Not that detailed anyway. Right, guys, God bless. And again, eyes to the skies. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.